the increasing population in Indonesia and its high growth rate causing many problems, one of which is insufficient food needs. This causes the government to maintain the stability of food supply for 2068 at 0.58 million people. The increasing need for food is certainly needed agricultural technology to advance the quality and quality of food. The problem is solved with some of the technology that has been applied by farmers. According to FATIA survey, most farmers in rice fields have implemented technological innovations in the form of Lagoa learning systems intensively. And farmers in dry-based villages are quite intensive in implementing innovations and processing agricultural products. In addition, the use of local resources is one alternative to support agricultural cultivation. Some farmers have implemented one of the local resources in the form of photosynthetic bacteria as an agricultural innovation. The use of photosynthetic bacteria will increase the immune system of the plant. However, looking at the way it is applied in liquid form that tends to be impractical, of course, this innovation has not been fully developed. The solution to overcome this problem is microencapsulation with spray drying methods. Bacterial microencapsulation is a process to hold and protect bacterial cells with an encapsulation membrane in the form of suspension, emulsion, or dispersion, thus preventing decreased viability of bacterial cells during the process. While spray drying itself is a method used to produce dry powder from liquids or porridge by drying quickly using hot gas and widely used in the food and pharmaceutical industries. Therefore, researchers are interested in developing this as micro-encapsulated photosynthetic bacteria using lactic so that they can be utilized as much as possible. My name is Halsa Bilai Fananda and my name is Adelina Najwa Ashifa. We are from Senior High School 3, Semarang. What do we get from this research? First, knowing the success of creating microencapsulation photosynthetic bacteria. Second, finding out the total probiotic bacteria from the results of microencapsulation photosynthetic bacteria. Third, finding out the total bacterial colony from the microencapsulation of photosynthetic bacteria. We used several tools and materials to do this research. The research was conducted through three stages of research. The process of making microencapsulation. 2 liters of pure cow's milk, 20 grams of alginate, and 20 grams of maltodextrin are put in a mixing container. Add 80 milliliters photosynthetic bacteria. Start the encapsulation process by putting the mixture into the spray drying tool. The calculation is done after the process of making microencapsulation in the form of powder. The result taken as much as 1 gram then measure the total colony using the power plate method and probiotic bacteria using the cup count method. 3 liters of pond water, 1 chicken egg, 1 tablespoon probiotic drink, 1 tablespoon MSG and 2 tablespoon fish sauce put in 2 equal bottles. Add microencapsulation results with treatments that are 1 gram as sample A and 2 grams as sample B. Leave it under the blazing sun. Once all the dough is mixed, the amount of dough becomes 2,120 ml. The result of the dough is then filtered into 1,000 ml so that it can fit the spray drying machine with the condition Ti equal 170 degrees Celsius and To equal 85 degrees Celsius. The result after going through the microencapsulation process is 6 grams of photosynthetic bacteria. Therefore, the percentage of yield is obtained by 0.6%. It shows that the amount of extract was still light, showing the percentage hasn't touched the 1% of the simplicia weight because of the quantity's reduction with the heat that the machine has. With a dilution of 10 to the power of minus 4 and the provisions of standard plate counts, the data obtained from laboratory testing of the Faculty of Medicine in DIP, the number of bacteria per party dish is 1 and the number of colonies in the sample is 1.0 times 10 to the power of 4 CFU per milliliters. It can be seen that there are still a few bacterial colonies, which means the spray drying method doesn't affect the reduction of probiotic bacteria that is the key of the product itself. We also tested the results at the UNDIP Integrated UPT Laboratory using TPC parameters and it obtained results of 1.2 times 10 to the power of 6 CFU per milliliters. 
which making the statement stronger that the spray drying doesn't affect the reduction of the probiotic bacteria. Based on the results of the application test, we observed that the sample A with microencapsulation levels of 2 grams is more quickly changed into red, which indicates the effectiveness of the product on February 6, 2022, after the application for 2 weeks. As for the test sample application B, with a level of 1 gram has not changed to red, besides it still has the same color. This is because the application test is carried out during the rainy season, so that the lack of sunlight obtained, the quality of the pool water is undercooked. In addition, the amount of levels given also determines changes, and also the temperature that changes. From the analyzation and results, it can be concluded that encapsulation process does not affect the reduction of probiotic bacteria and the result of photosynthetic bacteria application test with the addition of 2 grams of microencapsulation will succeed. As for the light amount of result, we would recommend using technique that doesn't use heat as the main technique, which are freeze drying or the combination of freeze and spray drying. The encapsulant material had been tested very good for the combination of milk, maltodextrin and alternate. Therefore, we would recommend using this product to farmers for the best and efficient uses for photosynthetic bacteria. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Please support us in the final of ISPO 2022. Bye! Bye.